starting a new youtube channel so you might have visioned right that you want to start something that could be yeah, useful for definitely, others definitely. right and also i want to spread what i know or what what, what i have faced earlier so i want to spread the knowledge mm-hmm. or information okay i mean that's great it's like providing a service yeah. with all the resources that you have yes amazing so you are doing a great job indrajit thank you now um so tell me indrajit um how important it is to have a goal in life uh that's very important to set a goal i think without goal you can't go further mm-hmm. so that's why you need to set a goal it may be long term goal or it may be short term goal but mm-hmm. you should have goal at least so that you can direct yourself towards that and it will okay. like you feel that like you feel you are directed to something then i think that keeps you busy otherwise uh, you will be lazy or you can do or you can start procrastinating from like doing something then you should have a goal a proper goal to direct right. your so what is your current goal uh actually i am doing a job in an ngo sector apart from that i run a youtube channel so my goal is to uh, speak english fluently continuously mm-hmm. and also to reach the wider audience through my youtube videos okay so how did you plan you know to establish uh, have you established certain uh, ways to reach the goal more effectively uh, Yes, I think that uh, consistency is important here, yeah? and you need to provide value. If you provide value, then you know, the subscribers or the viewers will get connected with you mm-hmm. always. And this is the main thing, and you have to be consistent because uh, if you con- upload consistently, then you can make a virtual bond with your audience, and it will right. reach. Uh, the other audience or the wider audience so i think that consistency is important and you have to be patient in this field okay and just provide the value hmm yes yes that's also true okay um so could you just explain me the experience about achieving some goal so you might have set, set a lot yeah. of goals in your life right so yeah. how was it experiencing yourself achieving that particular goal in life Mm-hmm. uh it feels fantastic like when you achieve something you, like you first i have i didn't start youtube channel i didn't think even that mm-hmm. but in lockdown 2020 i have started this and i have been uploading videos consistently so it's a great feeling to reach out the wider audience and to get some to like to achieve something like small it may be small but when you achieve something it feels like out of the world so mm-hmm. and every beats will count right absolutely i mean i'm really glad that you were able to experience that too in yeah. life <laughs> over the moon feeling right mm. okay and um, let me ask you one question uh, do you believe in dreams uh yes i i do believe dream i even i dream a lot mhm uh, actually i think a lot to make the fulfillment of my dream so i dream always dream is important to like is kind of a goal or set of goals you want to oh. achieve in your life so dream is important and you should dream you should keep dreaming Yes, yes. So you, definitely, and um, I remember one of the quote by A. P. J. Abdul Kalam that your dream should not make you sleep; it should make you stay awake. 
absolutely correct absolutely <laughs> right yeah. you should feel that you need to achieve that dream whatever that you dream of you should be able to be very sincere and dedicated in achieving those goals and dreams yes. absolutely that's true 100% <laughs> right and um do you think that dreams are a representation of subconscious mind because sometimes we do dream about things that does not even have any connection with the reality right mm. yeah sometimes we do like uh, to have fancy car to have something to have a uh, deluxe house so it's a dream right mm-hmm. so i think that yeah if you have dream such dream that make you awake or they you make they you awake so mm-hmm. you should work upon that you must work upon that to achieve that at least mm-hmm. whatever you dream at least you can achieve 50% or 60% of that then it would be like okay it would be great okay and you have to continuously work upon your dream otherwise it the when you just you dream and you will get it's not correct or like a, it's kind of manifestation what you manifest in your life it will you will achieve that if you continuously work on that to achieve okay. that yeah and okay, i yes. do believe manifestation and we, we, i because it happens to my life many times so i that makes me a great believed in that believe in okay. that greatly could you share one of the experiences that you had uh, Uh, yes sure uh, like when i started my youtube channel i didn't uh, know anything about youtube but nowadays i am at least i am whatever i am earning from youtube i can uh, say it is my pocket money and i can spend it according to on my on my own way and according to my like small things like i want to eat that i want to eat biryani for example or i want to buy this clothes so mm-hmm. i can get it from my youtube payment so it's a great feeling i think and yeah doing something like a freelancing or uh, uh, simultaneously you are doing job so it's a another source of income it will definitely make you happy and yeah confident to do more and more so that you can at least you are not doing crime so mm-hmm. you are doing good things the people are connected with you and you are spreading your knowledge or information that is valuable for the people so it's a great it's a i think it's a noble work yes absolutely and have you ever come across any one of your followers uh yes uh, like on the train i one of my followers i can say that one of my uh, family members you can say <laughs> that uh, he approached to me and said that i watched your video i watched your videos and this this so i feel glad to yes, yes. hear about that i mean uh, that would be the most blissful moment one could yes. have yeah i can someone is it. yeah yeah i mean someone is appreciating your effort i mean you feel like you are being noticed yes and yes. yes, i also have a lot of positive comments so it feels great it feels great yes absolutely and um, how i mean how do you feel now after uploading the first video oh what wow. was your feeling like are you doing it um, is it okay to start a youtube channel uh, what was the I kind of the motivation i get uh, like uh, first i uploaded videos so i i even didn't think that it will go viral on that a certain point so that i can recognize or i can get some subscribers from that mm-hmm. so i think that every every subscri- subscriber count like hits me a lot and pre- like feels me a great that one day i just watch or i see one subscribers added to my account then to then 100 200 2000 the matter is so it feels amazing and <laughs> when i uploaded the first video the very first video i was too shy to face the camera and i was so stuck to talk with the native speakers but gradually i am improving and i am gradually you are improving yeah exactly it will take time it can't make you 
famous overnight so it will take time right yeah whatever journey i have like i am traveling right now so it's wonderful amazing i mean i it's really amazing i would always come across learners who used to tell me like how much time would it take ma'am to uh, to reach or to attain the fluency in this language so i would always tell them that it is kind of time consuming you can't expect to ex- excel in one language overnight or within few weeks so you need to trust the process so you are one among them who experience this journey so what would you like to give out to the people out there like how much time should they be expecting when they hear from a trainer they would be like okay you already know this language but mm. i am in a rush to learn to attain fluency in english so what is the one point that you would like to give out to them uh one point i can share i can share my from my experience that is uh, you need to take out at least 5 to 10 minutes to practice daily on a daily basis like you are you will be associated or you will be touched with this language at least 5 mm-hmm. minutes to 10 minutes in a day though you are busy though you are super busy but you have to take out at least 5 minutes to touch or to practice the language and right. persistence is important here so you need to practice on a daily basis at least 5 minutes so that Uh, that it it will take time definitely it will take time to, because it's a second language it's not our yeah. mother tongue so yes yes it's a matter of practice you have to practice at least 5 minutes to 10 minutes to speak english or to practice english with someone close to you so that they can uh, they don't mock you at all otherwise you will get demotivated to learn right. something and that is the harsh reality so that's why you need to practice at least 5 minutes you have to take out five from minutes. anything at least 5 minutes to 10 minutes yes yes so that is the amount of time that at least you the minimum time that you can give to yourself mm. to absolutely. improve language so you, you should only it. make sure that you do it continuously right absolutely absolutely yes yes and um, okay well, another question arises when we talk about being consistent or being regular practitioner in language mm. is they might feel like even if they practice talking they are not aware whether whether they are talking it in the right way or not mm, absolutely so have here comes, yeah yes i have faced a lot earlier so here comes the mentor rules you need a mentor mm. so that they can correct you then and there or after the conversation so that you right. can get the feedback from any mentor or tutor so you need a tutor a professional tutor or a mentor to help you out to correct you right. at at least so that otherwise you will do you will practice wrong you will do a wrong practice so right right you need a mentor yes yes so that's uh, yes i also absolutely give the same thing that's when this app comes handy because absolutely, when i <laughs> right so when i was trying to learn this language i always felt this kind of ambiguous thoughts whether i am talking it in the right way or not and i mm. always felt what if i had this one person to correct me all the way like it need not necessarily be my friend or relative mm. it would be great and to have some stranger to correct us because they won't be judging us they won't be knowing us mm. right <laughs> yeah exactly yes I yes okay i mean uh, yes in richard uh, i have seen your previous videos and it is absolutely oh. <coughs> great and insightful right. i have to say when you started conversation i feel so familiar with you <laughs> right and i'm so happy you know you are trying to impart the knowledge that you gained all the way you were also a learner in the beginning but again you chose this platform to show how it is to know a language and i can see the gradual growth in you Thank speaking you. to you right now i felt wow what an amazing transformation you had over the period of time and Thank that's you. really amazing indrajit and i have to say you are using a lot of speaking techniques for example pausing in between to come up with the right word to think what to say next it's very crucial when it comes mm. to speaking because that's something that we all are afraid to do 
when it comes to basic speak up pausing is something they they don't want to happen while they are having a conversation right yeah but it's very important to give clarity your to your speech which i completely felt in your conversation and um, yes, yeah and uh, yes i kind of want to give a little bit suggestion because i know that there is one word that you kept on repeating consistently it's it happens to us so mm. why not you just try another word to replace it so that you can use it alternatively hmm? definitely i will try i will definitely try right <laughs> yes yes of course i mean we are so used to this consistent word mm. and uh, well i could give some suggestions like regularly or persistently frequently mm. this can frequently. be used yes absolutely yeah so you know that words can be added by uh, finding out the replacement words right so this is one way of improving your vocabulary too so yes indrajit it was a very good session that i had with yeah, you definitely. and it was lovely session with you and meeting with you hope to see you soon 100 times <laughs> so thank you and i wish you all the very best for your future endeavors and thank let your you. dreams and goals become true. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye. Take care. You too. Bye bye.